the Holy Trinity, one God, whose hand we are given new fruit. By whose speaking we are given new life. Amen. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are welcomed, restored, and supported as citizens of the new creation. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. Holy God, holy and merciful, holy and mighty, you are the river of life. You are the everlasting wellspring. In mercy and might, you have freed us from death and raised us with Jesus, the firstborn of the dead. In baptismal waters, our old life is washed away, and in them we are born anew. Glory to you for oceans and lakes, for rivers and streams. Honor to you for waters that wash us clean, quench our thirst, and nurture both crops and creatures. Praise to you for the life-giving water of baptism, the outpouring of the spirit of the new creation. Wash away our sin and all that separates us from you. Empower our witness to your resurrection. Strengthen our resolve in seeking justice for all. Satisfy the world's needs through this living water. Where drought fries the earth, bring refreshments. Where despair prevails, grant hope. Where chaos reigns, bring peace. We ask this through Christ. Who with you and the Spirit reigns forever. Amen. Amen.
called the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, to wear sandals and to not put on two tunics. He said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. If any place will not welcome you, and they refuse to hear you as you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that all should repent. They cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. How would they ever manage? 
Well, we know they did not have to do it alone, and we do not do it alone either. Jesus assured that when he left them, the Holy Spirit was coming to grant them power to accomplish what might seem otherwise impossible. That same Holy Spirit promised to us in our baptism. They were asked to turn outwards toward their neighbor and keep going as far as they could to spread the good news that Jesus was risen from the dead. There were only a few people, but as more and more heard the story, they helped spread the news even further. Have you ever dropped a pebble in a lake or a pond or even in a bucket? <coughs> At first it just kind of pops in, right? But if we look carefully, the ripples continue out over the entire pond. It keeps spreading. The disciples would eventually do what Jesus challenged them to do. After all, that's how we came to know about Jesus. But first, they were asked to stay put and wait. We're not very good at waiting, are we? What did they do while they waited? Well, they worshipped. They stayed in contact with each other. Old and young, women and men, rich and poor, all together praying as they prepare to be sent out. We need to prepare to be sent out as well. It's the power of the Christian community to come to a place of holiness like this and then leave to go out and be witnesses. We are all called to pick up where the gospel of Mark left off, called to tell the story. Jesus gave us a new order at the end of the gospels, and it's in, repeated here at the beginning of the book of Acts. He doesn't ask if we would do it, or if we want to do it. He simply says, we will be his witnesses. But how do we tell the story without being too afraid or uncomfortable? We do it with our actions and with our behaviors. Most of you have been witnesses in the last couple of weeks, and you might not have even realized it. We were witnesses when we collect much-needed items for family service leave, Helping Hands Rescue Mission in Joseph's Storehouse, right here on our grounds. And I hope the children were witnesses when they took their chalk last week and wrote hallelujahs and Christ has risen all over town. The early church was built by witnesses, gathering, praying, learning, and then inviting others to hear the stories and experience the love, mercy, and grace of God. We are called to do the same thing. So this week, tell someone who went to church, tell them how great the choir sings. Tell them that everyone is welcome at the Lord's table. Tell them that seven young people made their first Holy Communion today, and that you were there to celebrate with them and to taste the communion bread that they made yesterday for us. Tell them what being here in this community of saints and sinners means to you. Just take a risk and tell someone. And invite them to come with you. Invite them to share in the love of Jesus. Let's all help tell the story of Jesus. Tell the story of United Lutheran Church. Three congregations serving the community who came together to be an even stronger and more powerful witness to the gospel. Help share the love, mercy, and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because if you tell someone, and they tell someone, and they tell someone, your witness will go out from here like ripples in a pond. You will be his witnesses, and God's love will pour out from this small community here in Huntington to all the ends of the earth. And to that, let us all say, Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah.
trusting in the promise of the resurrection. We pray for the church, the world, and all those in need. Oh God, you sent us out into the world to bear witness to your transformative love and justice. Give us the words to say and the opportunities to say that, that we might experience the fullness of your presence. God of new life, in mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Creation witnesses to your power and glory, O oh God. Make us partners with the natural world, ever aware of our interdependence and commitment to our mutual flourishing. God of new life, in mercy, hear our prayer. Soften the hearts and the minds of those who govern through fear and oppression and open them to partnerships with other nations for the benefit of all. God of new life, in mercy, be our prayer. Be with those in our families, our lives and communities who suffer illness, trauma, grief, and all forms of pain and loss, especially Judy, Chris, and Laura, Peter, Sharon, Sam, Pat, Judy, Grace, David, Pat, Bill, David, Hazel, Phil, Gail, Jeannie, Anne, Dante, Louise, Edith, Frank, Elaine, Gloria, Sonia, Sybil, Peggy, Michael, Tara, Lori, Carol, Ted, Elsie, Margaret, Martha, and those we name now silently or last. Help us to bear your healing love to them. God of new life. In your mercy, your prayer. Inspire, strengthen, and support missionaries in their work to build communities and contribute to the health and the well-being of all they serve throughout the world. God of new life, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember with gratitude the saints who carried your word into the world from the beginning of the church through the present day. May we follow in their examples to be open about our faith that others might follow after us. God of new life, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We place into your arms all for whom we pray, loud and in our hearts, confident that your mercy and grace through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And also with you.
Breathe your spirit on us, and on this bread and cup, carry us in your arms from death to life, that we may live as your chosen ones, clothed in the righteousness of Christ. Through him all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, now and forever. Amen. Gathered into one, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The one who has taken up in the cloud is yet here at this table and invites you now to share with him the bread and wine of the new covenant. Come, for all is prepared. You may be seated. <coughs>
Christ died. Thanks be to God.